Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session which is the part 5 of the Python ML series that we are making. In this session, we are going to talk about how we are going to clean our data guys. Alright guys, so I'll just give it a heading first of all. We are going to name this heading as cleaning the data. Alright, so the very first thing that, okay, just get this uh, data with top five rows so we have age we have fair there is a gender zero is for male and one is for female then there is sibling spouses children the passenger class one two and three the embarked column which has all the you know ports uh, southampton there is queensland there is one more and the survived column which is zero is for did not survive and one is for survived all right so we know what our data looks like now the first thing that i want to check is if there are any null values guys and if there are any null values what i want to i want to get the sum of all of them so since you can see there is no null value for any of the columns because this data where we have downloaded it from it's pretty clean guys all right so what we know for sure is there is no null value so we do not have to uh, work on how we can get those values fixed let's take an instance where we say there is a few values here and there which are null value so what we will do then so the very first thing is if the number of null values is pretty low like out of 1300 uh, values only 70 or uh, let's say 50 are null values so what we could have done is we could have done data dot drop na that's it since we did not have anything at all any null values it did no change at all to our data but in case if we had any null values they would have been dropped and one more thing if we, there is a lot of null values that you have inside your data that is considered as noise guys so for that what you can say or what you can do is get uh, so one second guys now the next good thing to do is uh, fill the null values with an average all right so a median value let's imagine a scenario where we say there is a ship where is 1500 people so what is the one thing that would not be clearer as in the era when titanic was built that is 1919 or 1920s late 1920s we can say or early 1930s so I would say age would be a problem there. So let's imagine like for age columns, we do not have a sufficient data. We have let's say 500 missing values. So what we can do now here is get a median, which is 28 over here and replace all those null values with this value. So that is how we can do that. And to do, to do that, we can simply uh, call the fill NA method that is fill na and give it any values or uh, since we do not have any values inside this uh, so we don't have to worry about that okay we'll move on to the next one which is identifying the outliers okay so what basically is an outlier guys an outlier is uh, nothing but a value that is pretty uh, distant from all the values or we can also call it as an odd odd one out value so let's say i have this column okay this is a uh, age column and I'm seeing a lot of age for let's say uh, there's a party somewhere and which is a millennial centric party. So it's got all the musicians and you know the rappers and the DJs who are pretty famous in the millennial population. But I'm seeing uh, a lot of middle aged men women also enjoying there which is not a bad thing. But what I would feel is that is a odd one out scenario. Similarly for outliers let's say I have this age column and there are a lot of values between 30 to 40 years of age or 20 to 50 years of age but I'm also seeing a lot of values which are 80, 92, 95 and some people with children whose age is 5, 6 or 7 so those are considered as outliers guys so there is a way where you can find out you know the outliers in your data the very first thing that I also told you in the last session is getting a box count guys or box plot so box plotting age data is equal to data see the data points after this point 
are considered as outliers and after this point also it is considered as an outlier this is very simplest the sim simplest way to identify out outlier since our data is pretty uh, small it doesn't have a lot of entries so it's good that we uh, fix them by replacing them with a value or we could have also removed these outliers so there is one more way we can do that there is quantile data dot quantile method which we can uh, apply for getting q1 and q3 values which we can use for finding out the iqr so you must be wondering what exactly is an iqr right okay so iqr is an interquantile range guys it's basically a measure of uh, variability in your data so based on dividing a data set into quartiles quartiles i am just told you that that is first second and third that is q1 q2 and q3 respectively so now what we'll do here is we'll get the q1 and q3 and we will uh, have an iqr okay all right guys so the very first thing that uh, we would do we would uh, get q1 which is all right data dot quantile and I'll write a 0 0.25 over here and Q3 is equal to data dot quantile and I'll write 0 0.75 over here and IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1 and let's print IQR all right so we have the IQR for age fair gender uh, siblings and spouses children passenger class embarked column and survived so this is the iqr that we have now to check how many outliers we have on our uh, on our data we will write it as uh, data so i've just copied uh, this uh, from the sample that i had made all right so basically i'll explain you what it is so any data point that is uh, less than 1.5 multiplied by iqr or any data point that is uh, greater than Q3 plus 1.5 multiplied by IQR is considered as an outlier for us and for drastic uh, changes or you know drastic data points uh, we can have one more value all right so all these true values you can see, you see over here are basically outliers guys so this you can find over here so there are only a few values okay this is also an outlier so we clearly have a few outliers so what we can do now here is I identified the outliers so the next possible thing that we can do is we can get rid of them by removing them but I don't want to do that because that's a very uh, easier option that we have I want to replace it with you know the median values so we had the described column over here I'll just quickly go back to it so let's say for fair the 50% is 14.454 and for age it is 28 so wherever we have found the outliers I'm just going to replace it uh, with these median values so how would I do that you ask all right so I'll tell you how to do that but I guess the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, check or print the quantile value 0.5 for age column and I'll also want to print data age quantile uh, 0 0.95 okay wait a second guys so we have 28 and for 54 okay so let's just check the count plot once again for age so there are not enough outliers over here and so we'll do one thing for every all right so we'll write it as data age is equal to all right we have to import numpy and this is where all these uh, python libraries comes into picture guys all right np dot where data age is less than call it 15 
or we don't have want to actually do that because uh, the 0.5 quant uh, quantile is actually 28 so we'll do it only for uh, the age that is greater than 54 point okay 54.0 we'll replace it with some value which is going to be let's say Okay, we are getting an error. Why are we actually getting an error? Okay, wait a second guys. I... Alright guys, so let's print that value. I ran the shell again and okay guys quantile and we get the 0.75 value we have an invalid syntax alright so there you go which is 35 alright so what I'm going to do is for every value that is greater than 54 I'm going to replace it with uh, let's say 35 and uh, data is equal to data age okay all right guys so i don't think we have to mention data over here we can just go with this all right so now what i'm going to do is i will check what is the highest value that I have it's clearly 54 because we have stopped it at that so after 54 we don't have any values so any value that is above 54 or more than 54 it's going to be replaced with 35 so that is how you replace values in your outliers guys so now I also you can check for uh, a box plot so you will see a lot of outliers must have gone missing As you can see guys all the outliers they, that were after 54 are missing and these are a few more outliers that we have which I'm not actually removing because uh, you don't have to remove all the outliers guys sometimes uh, they can be useful sometimes you remove all the outliers it uh, affects your model as well and similarly for other columns that uh, may face a lot of outliers so we did it for age I can see there are a lot of uh, for children and for siblings and spouses and if you take a look at uh, this one which is fair so there is also a lot of uh, outliers for fair as well so let's do it for fair right guys so i'll just copy this code and instead of fair okay okay th there are a few problems here guys so even if i uh, remove okay let's get a box plot for fair and we'll see you know the most number of outliers lying in which direction that we should remove so after 100 there are a lot of outliers guys so this is because we are we are seeing this spike or we are doing these outliers because there are a lot of passengers uh, in the uh, non surviving area who paid less for a fare and there are a lot of people who survived who paid a lot more for fare and also survived the shipwreck so we will not uh, replace these values with anything because these are important for the model instead what we'll do we'll create uh, different uh, groups uh, in the later on section which is feature engineering so as far as uh, cleaning the data is concerned that is how you do it guys so we have done it for the fair and similarly for other columns like children uh, the siblings we'll create a one column altogether which will have a company uh, sort of or you know you know if if you had any family so we'll uh, keep one or zero for that that is also known as a uh, feature engineering or we can also call it as one hot encoding method 
and uh, now that we are done with this session also so i have told you how we can clean our data by removing outliers there are other ways also that you can uh, do that but this is the simplest way i can find uh, for the beginners it's quite easy guys also if you clean your data well you remove the noise which eventually helps you in getting across or you know it helps you in avoiding uh, overfitting and underfitting so i'll just quickly tell you what exactly is overfitting and you'll get a greater idea of what exactly is overfitting so noise is basically that data that is irrelevant for our model so similarly if we look at our data so there are a few columns that you can drop before feeding it to the model for the training data so i'll just quickly tell you what exactly is overfitting so any model is said to be overfitted when we feed it a lot more data than necessary all right so to make it relatable you you, you can imagine trying to fit into a oversized uh, apparel or any clothing you know if it's oversized you will not make it a good fit so that's also known as overfitting where we're giving it lot more data than it actually needs and that lot more data includes the noise and the irrelevant redundant data so if you are reducing or removing this noisy data and all those redundant variables or columns you're actually making the fit quite good if you're able to overcome this problem of overfitting your model will be uh, quite good guys and uh, we'll be talking about uh, cross validation so we'll know about variance and bias also if you are not feeding your model enough your uh, model also gets un underfitted guys so that's also one way to uh, do it but to avoid overfitting in machine learning or to avoid underfitting in machine learning we have several values or several methods so we have cross validation we can do cross validation to do that there is a uh, we can train it with more data with more relevant data we can remove redundant features there is a regularization and assembly all right with this we have come to the end of the session guys have a nice day thank you